Today we'll be installing Moroso solid motor mounts in the 74 GTO. The motor mount that bolts directly to the engine block is part number 62515 and the motor mount pads are part number 62630. This will provide a very solid mount for our engine and help prevent torque loss. And while we're at it, we'll install a Moroso motor mount shim kit to correct an oil pan clearance issue. The shim kit part number is 710-62535. Once we've completed this, we'll install a B&M super cooler. It is a transmission cooler to help keep your fluid cool and hopefully help make your transmission last longer. It's part number 130-70272. The super cooler has one half inch NPT inlet and outlet holes. So we'll install a one half inch NPT to 6AN fitting in those holes and we'll run 6AN steel braided line back to the transmission. There's the stock mounts. If you change out the mounts to solid mounts, it'll be the same on uh, this body style. Uh, Ventura, Nova, Omega, or the uh, 74 GTO. So. There you go. On it a little bit. Get the old ones out, put the new ones in. And All right, so there's the new motor mounts. All we got to do is tighten up the nuts and put the through bolt back in. All right, so you can see the new motor mounts with the through bolt installed here. I wanted to give a view of the oil pan there. You can see now that we've got the solid motor mounts in and the spacers that we have plenty of room. You can see on the oil pan there, there's a dent and the paint's gone. The oil pan was actually sitting on the front cross member. So we're moving on to the oil cooler. We got to remove these two lines coming outside the transmission. And please tell me why anyone would put JB Weld on a transmission fitting. I have no idea. We've got the cooler disconnected. We're gonna get rid of that cheap uh, transmission cooler. We're gonna install a B&M super cooler. All right guys, so I got the fittings out of the side of the transmission. Uh, no thread sealer or anything was installed on this. And I'm gonna try to get you up here and show you the transmission. If you'll look in that lower hole, those threads are in rough shape. That is exactly where our transmission leak's been coming from, that lower hole right there. All right, guys, if you watched my video, I think it was the one before last where we had to leave the track early because we said we had a transmission line malfunction. That bottom line was the one that had malfunctioned. That inner part was stripped out. That was supposed to have been drilled and retapped, and it wasn't done. So that is where our transmission leak's coming from. I guess we're going to have to try to drill it out and tap it somehow. I'm going to try to do it with the transmission in. We'll see. So here we are having to pull the passenger side header to make room to drill out the hole in the transmission to re-tap it for different threads. So it's turned into a quite the job. So here we are. We uh, ended up having to lower the transmission to drill out the hole and now we are tapping it. All right, so we got the transmission tapped and threaded and new fitting put in it. We're currently making some cross pieces here to put a good trans cooler in, install it in front of the radiator here. So we're gonna go with pieces of aluminum from some existing holes over here sideways and we'll mount it here with the lines going to the passenger side and then back to the transmission. All right, so we've got our transmission cooler mounted here in front of the radiator, and we're just uh, cutting lines and running them through the frame here, putting summit ends on them on summit line. We're gonna go along the frame and back to the transmission. Number six line. Yeah, number six line is what we're running here. All right, guys, what I did was I uh, 
wrap the steel cable and electrical tape real tight, used a metal cutoff wheel to, to cut it. I ordered this uh, set of jaws for my vise offline. You can get them on Amazon and uh, they'll hold your line sideways or up and down, whichever way you want it. So I always put it sideways to get the insert started and then I turn it up and down to screw the fitting into the hose. And uh, in case you don't know, the fitting that goes on the hose itself is reverse threaded on the inside. So when you get it started, you want to go reverse and it'll actually pull it onto the line for you. And they can be a bear to get started. There we go. All right, once you have that fully seated, Make sure you have that fully seated and then you can go up and down like this in these jaws. Get you a little oil and put on the threads of the uh, nut side. I've just got some motor oil. You just want something to make sure it won't grab. Put a little bit right on the threads. Just like that. And then you come from this top start it in there and uh, get you one of these wrenches here they're made for these so you don't mar your fittings up get it going down here on this and thread away if you don't have these proper tools doing these lines can be really difficult but if you have the right tools it's super easy so there's that one. It's already made. All right, so got the transmission cooler installed and the lines ran going along the frame. We're gonna service the transmission up and be good to go. So we started the car, warmed it up, checked all the new lines for leaks. All of them are perfect. No leaks there. No leaks at the cooler. new cooler. Well, it's getting late in the shop here. We did quite a bit of work. We went ahead and drilled out the stripped case of the transmission and put a uh, tap through there, rethreaded that, ran lines up to the new uh, transmission cooler. We got the solid motor mounts in with a spacer to get the oil pan off the front cross member. Got the cooler hung. Yeah, got the cooler hung up there. Nice and, nice and solid too. Good job. I want to give a huge thank you to Andy Honeycutt for letting us use his shop and his lift to work on our car. Uh, this Camaro is his. He's built it from the ground up, and it is a it is a fast car. We're really looking forward to next racing season where this car is definitely going to be in a lot of footage at the drag strip and who knows, maybe even some on the street. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.